That's it, I'm deleting my Facebook. There's no way I can let this happen. I'd never hear the end of it at school. No, Jake, you basically won't even exist if you don't have a Facebook. 81% of teens use a social media site. 94% of teen social media users say they have a Facebook profile, and 81% say that Facebook is the profile they use most often. It's okay, I'll be fine. There, it's done. Hasta la vista Facebook and my mom's baby album with it. Oh my god, did you see those pictures from Harry's party? No. Oh my god, have you seen the video of Obama saying, call me maybe? <laughs> no. See, Jake, this is what happens when you don't have a Facebook. You miss out on all the important stuff going on in the world. Teens share a wide range of information about themselves on social media sites. 91% of teens post photos of themselves, 24% post videos of themselves, and 62% post their relationship status. Clearly. You don't have to be a jerk about it. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. I mean, I just, ugh, I don't want my mom on Facebook, but I feel like I'm missing out too. I don't care about the call me maybe video or photos from Harry's party. I don't know. Why don't you just use your privacy settings? That way you can control what your mom can and can't see and what she can tag you in. The vast majority of teen Facebook users say their parents see the same content and updates that all of their other friends see. Just 5% say they limit what their parents can see. Now, see, no one even knows how to use those privacy settings. More than half of teen Facebook users say that it's not difficult at all to manage the privacy controls on their Facebook profile. One in three Facebook using teens said it's not too difficult. Just 8% of teen Facebook users say that managing their privacy controls is somewhat difficult, while less than 1% describe the process as very difficult. I mean, I guess I'll try it, but if one more baby picture emerges, I'm done with Facebook permanently. Whatever, Jake. Just watch the Obama video. In focus groups, many teens expressed waning enthusiasm for Facebook. They disliked the increasing number of adults on the site, get annoyed when their Facebook friends share inane details, and are drained by the drama that they described as happening frequently on the site. I love face space now. I get to connect to so many college friends and I also get to see what Jake's up to online. We came to a bit of a compromise on the baby album and sadly a lot of it had to go, but Jake let me keep a few, including one of him holding his dad's beer bottle when he was very young, which is a little strange, I guess, but I just like being able to stay in touch with what Jake's doing online and to know who he's talking with. It's not so bad. I updated my privacy settings so she can't see a lot of what I do and say on Facebook. Like, I make my status little Wayne lyrics a lot. She wouldn't like that. But you know, it's good I guess, because now strangers can't see all of what I do and say. I guess it's weird that I was so worried about my, what, that my mom could see my Facebook, but I wasn't worried about all the creeps out there. It's a win-win, I guess. Mostly. <sighs> mom, stop inviting me to couples yoga on Facebook!